Who is? Let's just mm -hmm. double check who's on before we really get going. Oh, is that you? Great. All right. Good deal. Um, okay. Let's, I'm going to close this door because we've got another ring. I've got somebody coming. Oh, you do? So you can just kind of it open it. It. Thank you. That's not a problem. Now, one little nice thing about this, since it is being broadcast, it's also being recorded. And I'm going to send all of you guys an email where you can go back and watch the whole thing again. That can be helpful? Oh. Uh, yeah. Good deal. All right, we are going to talk about some mind-blowing things here today. Let's get on the wide. Yeah, that's probably a better camera to get started from. So, how many of you know what Google Plus is? What's Google Plus? How would you define Google Plus? I kind of think it's like Facebook. Okay. What I've seen because it has a wall and messages, and you can follow people. Uh -huh. You can also, like, if I update my blog, it says you want to share this with all your contacts. And there's different circles you can create of contacts. Like there's you have a professional circle, hundreds of people, friends, family, and share certain things with certain people or with everybody. Or with everybody. So unlike Facebook, Facebook controls what you see through what's called edge rank. And today is in the class on Facebook. And if you want a class on Facebook, tell the board realtor, happy to come back. But edge rank is what controls what you see. Have you ever noticed how all of a sudden some friend that you haven't communicated with for a little while, maybe a month, then they post start dropping off and you don't quite know why? That's edge rank. The more you interact with someone, the more their stuff's going to show up. With circles on Google Plus, you decide what you want to see and you decide who's going to see it. If you put it to public, everyone that follows you and everyone in the world could conceivably see it. And my recommendation, always share public. Okay? If you guys, anyone in here scared of the idea that people might get your information? Make you nervous about social media because of that? Anyone? We passed that in this group? I just, it's gonna happen. Yeah. If, if you think your information is hidden, you're delusional. <laughs> Okay? In today's day and age, our information is everywhere. Okay? I pulled down a list of realtors. I got a thousand names of realtors in Salt Lake. And the database I pulled this off of has access to public tax records. If a realtor is an LLC or something like that, and most of you have received the advice from a tax standpoint to not put yourself legally at risk so you are a entity of some kind. The tax records are public. Of a thousand people I pulled down, eight, I did not see what their gross revenue was last year. Okay? If you guys think your information is hidden, just stop right now, get used to it, and embrace the idea that you now want the world to see the stuff you want to see. And that's what Google Plus is going to give us. The ability to control. This is your assistant, is that right? Yes. Okay, I'm going to close. The ability to control the information that you're watching. So, I'm going to show you some cool things. Now, I'm a huge Google fanatic. I, I absolutely, I love Google so much, my phone is made by Motorola. I don't know if you know this, but Google bought Motorola about two years ago. Okay, That's how Googly I am. No, I don't work for them. No, they don't pay me a dime. In fact, I pay them money. But I love everything that they use. And so for our presentation, let me jump back in here. i got to share my screen really quick. Boom, we're going to share. Start share screen. Hey, we got seven viewers on right now. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. If you've got questions, hit them up on the side. Are you able to see the questions? If you go into the... I don't see the questions. I don't, I don't Nobody's typed any questions in yet. So uh, for those of you who are, who are at home, if I ask a yes or no question, we're going to use data information. So put in a one for a yes and a zero for a no, okay? Just because I do want to get that kind of feedback. But jump in. 
we've got a voice in the room who's going to be voice for all those people in case I'm not standing by my computer. So my screen is now shared, which means that when I pop over here, you're now going to see a PowerPoint presentation run on Google Docs. Okay? The uh, entire presentation today is run off of a PowerPoint running on Google Docs. The beauty of that is I could have shared this with any of my coworkers or anybody else. I can share it with all of you. I can share it in a way that you guys can make changes to it, or I can share it in a way where you can only see it. That's the power. I can get home and, oh, I left my laptop at the office because it's Thursday night, and that's when the tech girl cleans up our laptops. But I've got to work on that document, grab the kid's school computer, pick them off, no homework right now, and go to work. Okay? That's the power of Google Documents. It can do anything where it can do pretty much. And as you'll see, it can make a pretty awesome, powerful presentation. So, if you guys have any questions, how do you know what a hashtag is? How many have used hashtags? I don't know why. You don't know why you use hashtags? Well, this is so in. <laughs> <laughs> hashtag LOL, hashtag YOLO, hashtag. No, is it, there's a way somewhere in the world to look at all the hashtags that say Utah real estate. It's super easy, actually. It's super easy. If you're in any social media service whatsoever and you see a hashtag and the hashtag is blue, put your pointer on it, press click, boom. You see a list of everybody else who has used that same hashtag. Hashtag realtors, hashtag uh, marketing for realtors online, hashtag whatever it is. Okay, so hashtags are extremely powerful tools. I have a personal hashtag, it's right down here in the right lower corner. Hashtag ask the deuce. Okay, now you need to use that one on other social media sites on Google Plus because it's so open, it's really easy. You don't have to even be following me. You just go plus sign Dennis Deuce, Dennis N. Deuce. There's three of me on there. Um, so that I can do things like this with my camera screens. But um, it's the Dennis N. Deuce, and uh, you can just start asking me a question. If all you do is put my name in there, it'll ask me a question in private. Don't ask me questions in private, please. I will write you back and say, I have the answer, and when you write it publicly, I'll answer it. And the reason is, I'm all about helping, and Google Plus is all about helping. So if you ask me publicly, you may get somebody like Rand Fisk Fishkin, Jumping in, don't know who he is, but he's one of the major contributors to search engine optimization. You may get somebody, if you're asking about Hangouts Online, you could get Ronnie Vincer jumping in, the number one expert on Google Plus for Hangouts on Air. He calls himself the Hangout Helper. You never know who's going to pop into the conversation if you plus tag me. And if you're already in the habit of app tagging on other, you can still app tag on Google Plus. Okay, so my hashtag asked the news to get a question. Here's what we're going to talk about. If you watched my video, if you've seen my brochure, if you've seen any of that, I told you there were going to be five things, and I didn't tell you what the last one was, but the last shall be first. So when we actually get into the class, the one I haven't told you about is the one we're going to start with. Number two, which was number one in all my promotional stuff, why Google Plus improves ranking. Number three, Google authorship and increased traffic. These two tie together. Number four is Google Plus, YouTube, and Hangouts on Air. Perfection. And I'm going to show, I'm going to, I hope, blow your minds today. I hope. Okay? I've actually invited a realtor who lives in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Not sure she can tune in, but if she can, she'll tune in about 25 after. Just 3,500 followers on Google Plus, making a ton of money from doing it. And she's actually basically right there on the screen if she's able to pull in. So that's one of the cool things that we're going to do. And we're going to show you how to build a following 
follow people and engage. And most importantly of this last one, I have about 19 or 20 people that you must follow on Google+. Plus. I'm not in that list, but you do need to follow me and engage with me. Google+, Plus is not like any social media tool out there. It is about health. Okay, we'll talk about that as we move through the presentation. So, you ever heard the saying, it's all a matter of semantics? Yes. What does it mean? <clears throat> How you put your words together. Okay, how you put your words together. The words you think, their words, and what they mean. Yep. I'm going to unshare just for a little while here as we talk about semantics. Um, so, semantics show differences, similarities, subtleties in English language, right? That's what semantics is all about. Let's take a look at a couple of examples of semantics here. We are going to jump back in. And our first one is multiple meanings. So, and there is a reason why I'm talking about semantics. You'll see what it is in a second. But a car crash, or a crash can mean an auto accident, a drop in the stock market, to attend a party without being invited, ocean waves hitting the shore, or the sound of symbols being struck together. That's all a crash. I'm assuming. Quiero hacer una prueba, pero habla español primero, ¿no? Sí. Inglés segundo. Okay. I didn't want to offend you, so I thought I'd do that in Spanish first. So what I just said to him is, he speaks Spanish first, English is a second language. He understands the annoyance of semantics. And he understands it for the same reason that I understand the annoyance of semantics. I got a sentence. You may or may not have heard. This is a true sentence. It won't make sense to any of you, even if you do speak Spanish. It might not make sense to him because it's all about semantics. Como, 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 sino, como, como, como. About eating. It's, it's about eating. How do I eat the way I eat if I don't eat how I eat? Okay? Is that a bizarre sentence or what? We have nothing that weird in English. So, multiple <laughs> meanings. Next one here is words without meaning. Marketers, we love this stuff. Things like cleans like a white tornado. What? It doesn't mean anything. And lastly, words that are play on words. These are very famous in humor. I really like this example from Groucho Marx. One morning I shot an elephant in my pajamas. How he got in my pajamas, I will never know. Okay? Those are all examples of semantics. Does anyone in here know why I'm talking about semantics at the beginning of a presentation on Google Plus? Do you know? You have any clue? No? <laughs> okay. Google's changing things. And they're changing things based around new technology they've been able to develop to start to understand semantics. So they're calling it semantic search. And where they're starting to learn all of this semantic stuff that they couldn't really learn before, Google Plus. It's where they're going to try and understand intention as opposed to raw meaning. And that is really important to getting yourself bound. Now, here's my favorite of all of them. Maybe. There we go. What is that? A glass of water. And it is? Oh. Here are all realtors. You all, <laughs> rah, rah, right? You've all probably heard about the uh, eagles and the turkeys. You heard that talk? No? Yes. Okay. The eagles all came together, or the turkeys all came together. There was an eagle there. The eagle caught them all, had a fly. At the end of the seminar, the turkeys all walked home. Good. Okay? Now, I've got a different take on this. By the way, the difference with this seminar, this small class, and any that you've ever been to, if you engage on Google Plus with me, 
I will always be right there to help you. And that's not just something I'm saying. Wait until you see something I've done later, and I'll do it for you if you ever want me to. Here's my view on this glass half full. It's completely full. Half full of water, half full of air. Now, if that isn't semantics, I don't know what is, but let's see if Google can figure that one out. There's another little uh, thing. I saw this online. I had to recreate it myself. Can we do like this one? Yeah, we can probably do something like that. I'll probably disappear. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just a second. I don't know how that. There we go. That's good enough. That's close. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully they can see me at home when I am on camera. But right now we're showing the screen, so it doesn't matter. I know what you mean. What's interesting about this, which you can't really see, is it's a bunch of zeros and ones. So this is Google is trying to understand deeper meaning than just yes or no. Let's talk about why Google improves ranking. Any of you use Chrome? Okay, you should change. It it's faster than anything else. So if you're not, I have a question. yeah, I was using Chrome and I felt like something got invaded my computer. So I, I just assumed it happened in Chrome the last thing I've done. And felt like you know a virus got something got yeah, invaded. Yeah, it, it probably was something that you either downloaded right around the same point in time. Um, so Chrome is Chrome is extremely stable, um, and I use it. As my number one, I often have to run three search engines because I need multiple email accounts at a time. Um, but I always am in Chrome in the one that I'm working in the most, then Firefox, then Microsoft. Okay, that's the way I work. No, I mean, huh? Oh, yeah, okay. Internet Explorer. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so in Chrome, you've got this thing called incognito. What incognito allows you to do is run a search without bringing into effect you, okay? Because normally the search is affected by who you are. So I ran a search for Salt Lake, uh, real, uh, Salt Lake Real Estate. Give it up as a search. And these are the things, nothing that here is gonna surprise you. I've blocked out the pink paint stuff on the top, we all ignore anyway. Zillow comes in number one, anyone surprised? Utah Realtors comes in number two, Realtor.com number three, Truilla.com number four, Salt Lake Real Estate number five, Best Salt Lake Homes, that's a personal blog. Does anyone know? Truilla Bird? I've taught her, we've set up Sean's for but I don't understand. Okay. So she's the first one that shows up from blogging. That's actually, oh, that's actually pretty good in real estate because, I mean, look at like you're going to beat, you know, I'm surprised that Active Rain isn't up here, okay? But like you're going to beat these websites, right? So, you can. Let me show you how. That was an incognito search. This is me logged in as Dennis at SEO.com. I have a Google Plus account there. I don't use it for hardly anything, okay? Search came up exactly the same. Well, that doesn't seem to prove anything. This is the email address that backs up the Google Plus that I use hour after hour after hour. Watch what happens here. First of all, the Google Plus post for me shows up. And right down here, Chase Dixon Real Estate off of Google Plus shows up. Okay, why? Well, I'm in my own circle, and I have been talking a lot about this. That's why I, that post showed up, because I've been active on that particular post. Not just did I post it, but I've been commenting, as other people have been commenting with me. Okay? This one right here, I follow, I circled Chase Dixon Real Estate, and so they showed up in my search. What this means in the broader scheme of things is if you've circled somebody and they're friends with this person over here, when this person does a search, you may be able to be active brain, Zillow, at their own game. Okay? 
It's pretty amazing stuff. What's even more amazing, anyone in here not using Gmail, you're about to, not using Gmail as their main email account? You're not? Okay. I change that. Here's the reason why. If I email you something and you email me back, and we have at least four communications, but it's with my Gmail account that's tied to my Google Plus account, I can affect your search results with my Google Plus. Can Facebook do that? No. no. Twitter? No. Pinterest? Kind of. But not in the same way. Okay? Now, yeah, just say Google results. Results. Stuff. Google results. So Google there is plus. A thing or it's not, so it won't matter. It won't matter. Okay. Has anyone looked at the statistics on Bing as a search engine? No. Number one is Google. Anyone know who number two is? What is that? YouTube. Mm -hmm. Combine YouTube and Google, which, by the way, owned by each other. Eighty-five percent. Okay. Yeah, my son's partial Bing. I have no idea why. I just agree. Bing and Yahoo are technically the same technology, and combined, Bing and Yahoo don't equal number three. You know what the number three search engine in the world is? It's not even a search engine. Starfish, this week, no. It's not a search engine at all. That's not one. Twitter. That's what I like. Okay. Bing and Yahoo together don't equal Twitter. So there are people who love Bing, and that's great. I'm not dissing Bing. What we're talking about here is trying to market your business and get found. If you want to use Bing, go ahead and use Bing. Now, the unfortunate thing is if you use Bing, then you're not helping Google help you. Right? Every time you use something Google uses, it helps your search results, which helps you get found. So this is uh, another search that I did with Salt Lake Realtors, logged in as myself. This is the first view, there's the, the page up there, Salt Lake Realtors, slrealtors.com again. And this one was interesting. If you watched my video, you saw this. I, I found out after I did the video, I was shocked. I did that like in this room, live without even preparing. Anybody see that video, that intro video? Cool, you came without even watching my invitation. Um, I don't follow regularly Dustin Rowe. I have circled him. But he shows up in, oh wait, this is me making mention of him. He shows up, actually that's why I moved him down. He's right here. Okay, shows up in my search. Again, you can affect search results because of your activity on Google+. Plus. That's very, very powerful. Any questions on how Google Plus can make your search be more powerful? We got any questions coming in from? Holy cow, I can't read that question. Yeah, cool. We got people from. Well, I know we've got somebody here from the Caribbean, too. Um, uh, uh, lady selling some investment property down there. I think I screenshot of the screen. Had a couple people call in and see the audience, but not the actual screen. You're not <laughs> seeing the screen? Oh, I was going to be doing something wrong. I must be doing something wrong. Oh, there we go. Sorry, guys. Thanks. Sorry. Sorry. You're now seeing the screen. Your webinar, so. Thank you. Thanks, guys. No problem. There's a lot that I need to manage all at once from up here. Multiple cameras. So go ahead. Um, I'm not understanding what is the difference between Google and Google Plus. Okay. Google is where you go to search information. Google Plus is like a social social media website like Facebook, but far more powerful. You go on there and you communicate with people, but they're not your friends. So Facebook is the backyard party with your friends. Okay? You hang out with your friends now. Are you going to go to that backyard party with your friends and start quoting Shakespeare? Or are you going to go back in that backyard party and start 
handing out brochures without even saying anything. Okay. It doesn't work on social media either, and especially doesn't work on Facebook. In fact, I pretty much quit using Facebook for any forms of marketing, and it's what I do. Okay. All right, that, if any of my friends are watching, yes, I did post about today's event this morning. But I thought you might be interested. Um, so the, uh, the, um, the power of, of Google Plus is a place where you go on, you engage, you share things, people share things with you, um, and we're going to get into some of the things that you can, can do in the last uh, three pieces of this, but it's, it's just a platform on which you can basically microblog would be a way of putting it, okay? Um, and you can, through that, you can build a following and increase the evidence that you are a, a real estate agent with a specialty in a certain type of home or a real estate agent with a specialty in a certain area. Go ahead. Um, how, does it, how does it compare to LinkedIn? Much more powerful. Much more powerful. Okay. And how, I, I might have misunderstood what the class was. I was hoping you'd help us learn more about Google Plus because my foray into it, I wanted to throw my computer out of the window. I'm going to give you. not user friendly at all to me. I couldn't even upload a picture. I mean, it was like, nope, sorry, I couldn't do that. So try, fail. So, <laughs> this is not that class, though. Huh? This is how to get noticed on Google Plus. But well, we don't have it's both. Okay. It's how to get. So the, the subtitle was. How to get informed, how to get involved, and how to get found. But I'm kind of doing the presentation backwards to that. Because I'm trying to give you the why. Why is it so important for you to take the time to try not to throw your computer at the wall and to get involved? What's different? What, what matters? Why am I so passionate about this? I do trainings on every type of social media experience. But I don't get this passion about it. This is a game changer. So it's worth worth your time to try and work through. And as I said, I'm going to give you the offer where I can and will help you with things like that live on the computer. They're going to have to let me go. You'll see what I mean in a minute. So um, this is a difficult kind of going to breeze over it. Google authorship is really powerful, but this is not the place to get into how you do this. I just want to show you what Google authorship is. This is a page of a search 10 SEO copywriting tips. Okay? And these little pictures, have you ever run a search and seen a little picture like that come up? That's because somebody has tagged their Google Plus account back to the website that blog post came from, and they get an authorship snippet, which gives a couple of things. It adds this picture. It adds a line that tells what their name is on Google+, Plus, and you can click on that, and that will take you to the post. That line will take you to the first one, Google+, Plus, and you can see how many people are following them on Google+. Plus. Okay? That's powerful, and here's the reason why. Um, <clears throat> ran this search. And uh, for SEO is dead, what's next is a presentation that I, I do, so I knew that I would come up pretty well in it. This is, can't tell on this screen, but the back one of this here, that's a paid presentation, paid ad, so it's pink behind there. This one here is my LinkedIn, and then this one. Now, if, you're, if you run a search and you've got these three choices, pink background, the number one post, where there's a little picture of a human being, you're going to click. You're going to click on the picture. We're humans. We like to interact with humans. We like faces. We like people. Okay? So this is not the place to get into how you do Google authorship, but it is something you should take some time to learn how to attach your Google Plus to your blog. Are you all blogging? You have a blog? That might be another class. <laughs> now we're going to talk about Google Plus 
YouTube and Hangouts on here. These three tie together. Let me show you how they tie together. So you got Google Plus. Google Plus is kind of the overview. Then you've got YouTube, which is a place where you post your videos. It's a powerful search engine, um, and it can help you get found. Then you've got Hangouts on Air, and the three of these work together, and let's see how they work together. So the outer layer now on Google is Google Plus. Literally has become the wrapping around everything Google's doing. They said that was the plan when they came out with it, and we're starting to see it now happen nearly two years later. Okay. So you need to be aware of that. <coughs> YouTube is, as I said earlier, the second largest search engine in the world. How many of you have any kind of YouTube videos up besides videos of your cat licking itself? <laughs> Okay. You do? Awesome. What's it up? Uh, um, real estate investing. Uh, I would call it seminar is too big of a word. But, but a, a training, a how to video. A little how to that I presented at the um, Salt Lake Board of Realtors. Yeah. So, and then I also did a um, for HBTV. I did a, a little spill to in an attempt to get on HDTV. Um, uh, the attempt failed, but the video was posted on YouTube. There you go. On their channel? Or on your own? I'm not um, sure where it's posted. I am not sure where. <laughs> okay. Are either of them posted on your own channel? Um, no. Okay. I, I think I went to a class, I think I have a channel, but that's it. I don't know where it is. I don't know what to do with it. Okay. <laughs> At this point in time, if you don't have a Google Plus and you don't have a YouTube, when you create one, you get the other. If you already have a YouTube and you don't have a Google Plus, when you create your Google Plus, it's going to go, oh, wow, we need to connect these, and you're going you're to want to connect them for a number of different reasons that we'll try and talk about, though. Time will be tight. Hangouts are personal one-on-one -on -one video chats. This is Skype on steroids. Because it can be one-on-one, -on -one, or it can be one-on-ten. And you all have video. On Skype, you have to, all of you have to pay 30 bucks a month to be able to have 10 people on video. Okay? Google you get it for free. And if anybody on there is not paying 30 bucks a month, then you just hear their voice. So that's a really cool thing just for chatting with your siblings or whatever the case may be. Because my siblings are scattered all over the world. Hangouts on Air is a live broadcast which are recorded simultaneously. As soon as you're done with your live broadcast, they are instantly loaded up to YouTube on your channel which means that when you search them, they're helping you get found. And that's what I'm doing right now. All these cameras, the screen sharing that I'm doing is all um, a Google Hangout. So I want to talk about a couple of things. One, YouTube variety. So you don't want to just do property shows. None of you, it sounds like, are. Okay? There are a lot of services out there that will do really fancy property shows for you. And if you're selling expensive properties, might be worth looking at. The problem with them is they put the videos on their channel. And why do they do this? Well, they wrap it around with a little piece of software that makes you do things that the other videos on YouTube don't do. And they tell you that it's all about benefiting you. A video has an 11 to 1 chance that you can get on the first page, all things being equal. A blog post has a 500 to 1 chance you're going to get on the first page of people. Why do they want all those videos on their channel? So you're better off learning a little bit of video technique yourself and doing your own videos. They don't have to be that fancy, in my opinion. 
Yeah. Yeah. But YouTube has a, a service for that. You can go in there with your own pictures and do your own. You, you can do that. You can take pictures and turn them into a video and then you can do talk over right through YouTube. Right. So if you want the thing to look really good and you pay a professional photographer already, then you can do that. You can go on to YouTube and you can just do a video, you know, walkthrough. The reason that I brought this, I'm actually going to show you how you can use Hangouts on Air to do a walkthrough. We'll do that here in just a second. One of the things that I do want to talk about is getting testimonials up on your channel. So you're sitting there, you're out of clothing, you're, um, let me see if this is, did we lose this camera? Oh, right. Okay. Just a second. All right, there we go. We're going to change from screen share over to my cell phone camera. So, uh, there you go. You guys can see it there. This is me. Now, you're sitting there at a, uh, you're sitting there, you're out of closing. You're halfway through the papers, and guess what? Something's wrong. You've never had that happen, right? <laughs> so the closing agent goes off and fixes the papers, and somebody comes running in and says, hey, you guys want some pop? And they try to make you feel comfortable, right? Been there, right? I bought a few pieces of property in my life. <coughs> this is an awesome opportunity. I'm going to show you what you do. Grab your phone. I get a volunteer. Anybody? Come on up front. I'm going to turn the lights back on for a second for this. So, let's see where it's there. How oh, did we switch around? Oh, we covered up the camera. There we go. Okay. So, remember your name again? Robin. Robin. All right. So, you're sitting at the closing. And you ask your client to say on camera, hey, how in the world can I do it? Right? Are they going to do say something nice? Most likely. Yeah. Your clients are all nice. transaction, they will. They will, won't they? <laughs> and a video is 11 times more likely to get found than a blog post or even a Yelp review. So what I now want to do is ask you to tell everyone what you think of my presentation so far on Google Plus. It's fantastic. I'm looking at this right now. You're looking at this right there. It's circle. seriously fantastic because Captain Deuce has <laughs> so much information. He's enthusiastic. He's excited. He's telling us all stuff we want to know and need to know. And it's going to help our business. So we appreciate it. Was that difficult? How many of your clients were actually saying, yeah, you know what? I'll do that. No, thank you very much. Now, those who are afraid of cameras, and I'm sure many of them are, might say, eh, not willing to get on camera. Oh, that's easy. Your phone can do a voice recording, right? Get a voice recording. Grab those photos that you've got of the property that they just bought. Slide share those over top. You can use YouTube to do this. Put the testimonial on the back. And you know what else you need to do with that testimonial? You need to type it all out word for word. Because even though a blog post has a 1 in 500 chance of getting on the front page of Google, it has a 1 in 500 chance of getting on the front page of Google. So add it. Put it up on your blog. Here's a testimonial. By the way, here's the video. OK? Let's go back to the, uh, oh, wait, no, we're going to do one other thing here. Let's flip this camera around, and we're going to go back to this camera. Now, I'm going to show you what this little funky thing is here. Uh, I... All right. 
Okay, this is a steady cam. I made it out of PVC. Okay, I'm going to show you guys what you can do using your phone for doing a walkthrough. You specialize on investment property, right? That's why you did that presentation. And clients out of state? Uh, some, yes. Very often? Okay. Let's go on a little tour, guys. I'm going to show you this house. Here's our house. We've got these nice tables right here. It comes complete with these computers. Here's these tables. Oh, wait. My customer wants me to show them that corner again. Oh, it's right here. You like that? Oh, okay. Here, let's go into the bedroom. Can that be a powerful tool? One-on-one -on -one video walkthrough with your client. Okay, your client's a doctor and too busy to go do a second walkthrough of the property. There's another opportunity. Take them on a walkthrough from their office between appointments. What other ideas can you think of? Because I'm not actually a realtor, so I'm sure you guys have. I'm hoping your brains are going. <laughs> you mean for YouTube videos? For YouTube videos. So there's a great guy that spoke here at UAR. Anybody was there? He's out of Memphis. Who's a big shot, I think, in real estate throughout the U.S. But he does little videos of all the little pockets, neighborhoods of his town. Like here, you do Holiday, Sugar House. Uh, Cottonwood Heights, West Jordan, I mean, big cities, small cities, and shows kind of the, the parks, maybe the city center or shopping areas, the highlights. Of it. And, it's, and you can tell there's someone's video on him on the phone. It's not real fancy, but he has a great personality and he gets tons of hits. That's a great idea. That is a great idea. And it's not that difficult. You can make something like this, shoot the video yourself, then throw your phone up. If you happen to notice, that little metal thing there is the same as the one on the front of the, uh, the plastic thing. allows me to strap my cell phone to something to steady it up. So you don't even need a second person. Do the walkthrough, and then flip the camera around, put it on a tripod, and talk to it. Not that difficult. Okay? That's... That's a great idea. Anyone else have any other ideas on what you can do with YouTube videos? Um, I mean, it's a similar thing, but I work with investors and sometimes will wholesale a property. And they definitely would much rather look at it when we deal with investors. They'd much rather look at it than go see it if they're, you know, the higher, the better investors would. And, um, so you can wholesale property quickly. Back in 1990, anyone here heard of Robert Allen? Yeah. You have? Okay. Nothing down in the 90s. Anyway, I took his seminar in 1990. He's one of these nothing down guys, which, that stuff all worked in the 90s. A lot of it's actually illegal now, but it wasn't back then. So don't think of me as being all shady because I was above board. <laughs> anyway. Um, he brought a guy into the seminar who owned a thousand rental properties in his town. And this guy had a really neat idea that just right now popped in my head while you were talking. You do electronically today. What he did is he set up the walkthroughs on his rental properties at a set time. Five o'clock this Thursday, I can meet you there. And he tell everybody that week that called, I can meet you at five o'clock on Thursday. And he'd pull up. As soon as he closed his door, all the doors started opening and closing on 10 different cars. He never walked out of one of those showings without a contract. People were like, oh my gosh, this must be a great property, right? Google Hangouts. Google Hangouts allows you to have as many people watching your walkthrough as you want. Only 10 of them can be talking to you with video. But you have an unlimited number that can be asking you questions by typing them out. So what if you line up all these guys, do your walkthrough, 
and they're all sitting there going, oh my gosh, there's all these other people. They can see how many people are on the way, and they're like, oh my gosh. Just a thought, throwing it out there. Would it work? I don't know. The part about how many down alternate time does work. It does, doesn't it? And for showing you the real estate, that works. It creates scarcity. Well, for showing you for the rentals, mm -hmm. because half the people don't show up anyway. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's definitely true. So, any other ideas of what you could do either on Hangouts on Air or utilizing YouTube videos? Okay. They are extremely powerful. I'm going to go back to sharing the screen here. Um, See, I need to be on my screen when I share the screen. That was the problem earlier. And I believe they're all seeing it. Okay. Uh, the next thing that we've got here is Hangouts and HOAs are great for live walkthroughs, trainings, and joint marketing opportunities, which kind of talks about. Now, as far as joint marketing opportunities, that one we haven't talked about. See, this is... You could do, I do two weekly hangouts on air. I do one Friday mornings. You're more than welcome to join it. It's called MLM Roundtable. And it is focused around the building of a multi-level marketing. It's just building business. And it's really about how to utilize network marketing or online marketing to build network marketing. So it's all about Google Plus, very hands-on. The kind of stuff you were hoping this class was, this webinar is extremely hands-on. We roll up our sleeves and get dirty, and I show you tips every week. That's at 7 o'clock in the morning on Fridays. But you can watch the videos because they're all posted after. I do another one called Nonprofit Know How, and that one is Tuesdays at 8 o'clock in the morning. And <clears throat> both of these, I do them on this regular basis, and I talk about how Online marketing can help people develop a following for those two types of businesses. But how many of you have a roof for you just How many of you have a carpet cleaner you think just rocks this world? How many of you are completely in love with one or two mortgage brokers who you are convinced are better than anybody else. Okay? How long can this list get, right? If you're good at real estate, you have a list of at least, what, 15 experts you rely on, minimum, okay? How many of them also want to be marketed? Could you do a weekly webinar using Hangouts on Air? where you talk about them and the little cultural walkthrough thing idea that you have, could you bring in the local, I don't know, coffee house, not the Starbucks, the local uh, cupcake place, you know, bring in the owners of some local businesses. Guess what? You've helped them, and we're likely to help you, right? And in the process, you build this little following around yourself as the expert on downtown Braver. I know all the shop owners and all the businesses. If you're looking for a clean house in Draper, I'm in. And when you add that to Google Plus and somebody searches for a clean house in Draper, boom! You're in. Okay? Little ideas like that. I got a million of them. I have no desire to do any of them. I'm too busy with what I do, but I'm happy to share them, and you can always get in touch with me. Now, I said earlier that I would help you guys out anytime I could. I need to turn off the lights again here so you can see this. So here's what I'm willing to do. A friend of mine calls me up and says, hey, I've got a friend who's dying of cancer, and I really want to videotape them, but he's moved to Utah, he used to live in, in Seattle, he says, I can't afford to go back up before I know she's going to pass away. 
and yet I want to get her story. Now, this is his little hobby. He's videotaped people who were passing away as, as long as I've known him, I've loved, known him for 25 years. It's the thing he does, okay? Um, but he's like, I can't do it this time. Should I use Skype? I'm like, nope, you shouldn't use Skype. Let me show you what you should do. To do an angel on the air, you should come down here, then you're going to click there on the hangout on air. Well, where was that? Oh, on the right. Now, when I do this with you to help me through whatever question, don't sit there and stare at the computer screen like he was. Do you see his face there? <laughs> Just a suggestion. Brent, I love you, but you look like a goof in this video. Go home right here. Okay? I literally walked into <laughs> <laughs> I will walk you through step by step how to do something. Now I will only do that if you're willing to actually record the session so that I can help lots more people. Because that's what I like to do is help people. Sound fair enough? So literally, send me an email. Send me a um. Send me a public message with a plus tag under the plus. That would be my favorite. Use my hashtag, ask the news, whatever. What we're talking about here is, so the, the closing here is going to be building a following, following people, and engagement. And now we're going to get a little bit more hands-on. This is how you should do stuff. Okay? We are priming a pump. And if you want to prime that pump, you at least need to come for 30 minutes a day. I would recommend more than that, okay? But at least 30 minutes a day. And here's what you should be doing. Three steps when you're doing this 30 minutes a day. Five, find, find five new people to engage with and engage with their, com their comments. So let me show you how you do this. When you're in your Google Plus account here, you... Um, can come in here and you can go your drop all your controls are right here okay you go to your people it's gonna bring up this page and it's gonna have the people that it recommends based on all sorts of things you're interacting with people who are, are interacting with them you're emailing people um, you, you know it's got just a whole bunch of different people here that you may want to follow if you're interested in any of them you can click on them. You can go, who is this person? Oh, okay, well, let's see. Do I want to follow them? A couple of things that I do is I first look, do they have both this picture right here and that one as original pictures? Or is it just the stuff that came? By the way, this picture right here is the one that comes on Google+. Plus. If that's the one you have, go change your cover picture today. Okay, because people won't follow you. The next thing I do is I look at what kind of activity has he done? Well, this guy's not done much of anything. And then I look at who he's got in common, and I also look at how many people he's got in his circles. So we decided not to follow Jesse. Um, you can search people who have added you. You can search your Gmail contacts. You can search people who work where you work, work where you used to work, went to high school where you used to go to high school, you can look at people who have you in your circles, you can go look at your circles themselves um, and see who's there, move people around, a bunch of different things. That's one thing. Yeah, does anyone have a quick question? And mm -hmm. this is just speaking to my ignorance of Google Plus, but the one thing I don't like about Google Plus that I love about Facebook is I am totally in control of Facebook. I know who can see me, I can block anybody, if I don't, blah, blah, blah. Google Plus for me just feels like right now I am out there and I have no idea who can see me, what I can do, I can't get rid of the crap on the page. I mean, I'm just, it feels so. Okay, the truth, I, I understand and I hear this a lot from a lot of people. You want to know the actual truth? You are in far more control with Google Plus than you are, but you do have to understand it. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, the Facebook. I tried to go to, and I'm like, you know, it's still not there. And yeah. I just get so frustrated. I just leave. I'm like, well, I don't know what everybody can see about me, but I'm just out of here. And the first thing to do is 
to forget about whether or not people can see, okay? Because that's going to cause a hangout for you, and that hangout is going to cause the experience to be frustrating. Google Plus is entirely a community of people who are helping each other. What you should be engaging with are not your friends, they're other realtors. There are other people in your particular market area, Sandy or Park City or you know Tulsa, Oklahoma. Anyway, I should double check and see if uh, she was able to get on. Nope. Okay. Um, you want to engage in your areas of interest and expertise, unlike any other aspect of networking or anything else, because Google Plus's information is helping your Google search criteria. The very best thing you can do is everybody in this room should follow everybody else in this room and should plus everything everybody else does and should comment on everything that everybody else does. As of the moment you start utilizing Google Plus, you are no longer competitors. You are all in the same game together. You are out to beat the big people on the front page of Google Plus, and you're going to do it by talking about real estate with each other. It's a game changer in how we think about business. And if you look at it as, I'm here to help, and everybody else is here to help, and nobody's here to hurt me, there are some spammers. But quite honestly, like, the communities are not managed by Google. Whoever started them is in charge of the community and decides who gets to stay, who gets to go, decides whether a post can stay or go. Neat thing, something you can't do on Facebook. You put in a post, oops, I forgot to spell check it. I'm horrible at spelling, I can't spell the same way. I can go back and change it all. I don't like the way it read. Somebody puts up a question, and I realized that there was a stupid semantic in my sentence that makes it mean two things that I hadn't thought of before. I can go back. I don't care if it's two years from now. I can go back and change that post. And, and not only the post, all of your comments are at your control. Two people control any comment. You, because you wrote it, and the person who created the post. Now, one little side note on all social media. Never take down a negative comment. Just deal with it. Publicly at first and then try and take it offline. The reason is if you delete somebody's post that said something bad about you, there's so many other places they can do stuff to you that you have no control over and you have just given them the middle finger, they were already mad at you, you're done for. Okay? So just people are going to make negative comments. Not everybody's going to like you. Not everybody likes me. You know? It's okay. People who do like me like me a lot. And I'm good with that. So when you're on Google Plus, you need to be thinking about it as this community of all these people. And as you get, and, and I do, I mean, I get that. Mm -hmm. But when I go into my page, there's this crap all over it that I'm not interested in. You know, whales with skirts. I mean, I just there's just so much crap, you know. And so I'm like, how can I just clean it up so I can follow a realtor community and not worry about the whales and skirts? When can you and I get together and do a video chat? Well, I don't really like having my face on there, so you could not take me any day. I'll do it. I'll do it with you. You gotta try that. Let's do that. Let's, I would really like to. Let's the three of us. She'll be on screen. Okay. I won't share your screen. Okay. But you'll be there watching. All right. We're going to have a party. I'll have to Bring the beer. All right. Great. We'll, we'll, we'll delve into some of that stuff because. I can just look at the paint. Okay, let me keep moving because um, there's still some things I want to touch on. No, that was a great question. Um, oh, 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 oh. Would you use both a normal G Plus page and set up a business page? Mitch Price asked that. 
not even certain who Mitch is. Mitch, great question. Um, I would start out as a realtor with just a personal page. May or may not do a business page. It would kind of depend on basically whether or not there's, um, are you on a team or not? Okay, if you're an individual realtor, then I really wouldn't necessarily go after a page. A page allows you to have multiple people administering it, so you can all be working on it together, okay? But if you have a page and a personal, then you're managing two things. And where Facebook is all about friends and hanging out with your friends, you have to set up a page so that you don't bother them too much when you're marketing. Google Plus is all about people with the same interests. And just to throw into that, also, realtors typically not their whole life stay with one company. So definitely when you're building the business page, you're building it for a company. Whereas if, if you were to move or something, then you build all this all this information out there on the inter internet that is giving company company information, building you up on Google, but yet on the flip side, is if you always build your personal page, you move companies, you move businesses, you move out of state, whatever you're doing, that still stays with you. So you're building up your own personal branding better than than whatever company you're working for. Yeah. And that's something at, at SEO.com, we're a pretty big company with a lot of people that do marketing, but every last one of us is first and foremost focused on our personal brand. And as we focus on that, we lift together the SEO.com brand. Okay? So a page, not necessarily though, you may want to go into your broker and say, hey, we should have this guy come in, talk to us, and we should create a page for the brokerage, and all of us start lifting together. So what if you are your own page? Then you would suggest doing this. Then, so, but I, especially for you, because you've got that hesitancy, I wouldn't look at building it till February. I'm serious. Get really comfortable. And I wouldn't think about building it for you until you had at least 500 people call, which I can show you how to do. Okay. So, let's go. Make certain I'm blue boxed. I'm sharing the screen. We're going to go over here. Here we go. And we're going to go back into our presentation. Our next step check out your favorite communities and engage with them. Here's what communities are these are my communities. I've got Salt Lake Real Estate. Everyone in this room and everyone watching, join that community. It seriously needs help. There's only one. I think I joined one. Join, get active. The last post besides my post about this presentation was in July. Guys, you should be putting stuff on there all the time. Okay? Real estate, that's a national one. That's a really good one. This one here, Google Plus Etiquette, highly recommend that you join that and learn some etiquette stuff. Um, oh, this one's my favorite. Here, Facebook can't do this. I... I am passionate about one special thing on Google+, and that is Auto Awesome. I'm all about Auto Awesome. Let me show you what Auto Awesome does. Come on, where is it? I'm not working. Auto Awesome takes a burst shot and it turns it into a video. Like that. That's actually just a series of photographs. It just plays over and over and over again. You can take this as like flags flapping in the wind. It's really fun. Leaves blowing, the rain falling. I'm sorry, I'm a little geekish. But I love Auto Awesome. Anyway, so you join the things that you're interested in. And again, all these notes are going to be shared with you, so you'll be able to get to at least my communities and see what my communities are. You're going to respond and interact. This, so these are three things, at least 10 minutes in each one of these, you're going to respond and interact with conversations you have already been involved in. Let me show you what I mean by, by that really quick. Is anyone stressing about the fact that I'm already a few minutes over? I mean, you're not, that's an hour. Yeah, it's supposed to go till 2.30. 30 minutes, 2.30. Okay, 
Great. All right. So here's where you go for um, for conversation to follow up on your conversation. The little bell up there. <coughs> oh yeah, that's an auto awesome. I took so these geese were sitting there, and I was trying to take a picture. I'm at uh, Wheeler Farm. Wheeler Farm, and I got my great Dane there this particular day. I have a 135 pound great Dane. And I'm sitting here and I'm trying to take pictures of them just moving their heads and stuff. And my dog barks as I'm taking the photo. It was awesome. They're like, Wah! So Dennis, did you say that's the picture that shows up or your little picture of you, your hat, when someone's doing a search and you get those little pictures? This one up here. Which, by the way, can also be auto awesome. Do you wear a hat as part of your personal brand? Yes. In fact, I have a, a little video on where I change from, and this was. It's a mistake, but yeah, I changed from a black hat to a gray hat to a white hat. No black hat marketing techniques. And then I personally branded myself as the white guy in online marketing. So if you see me in public, you will see me with a fedora. Now, I do wear my black one because white one doesn't always work. But if I'm doing a presentation, I only wear my one, even if it doesn't work with my clothes. So, well, you know, after later, you know. <laughs> so, all right, we're going to look at the little bell up there, and this is a little embarrassing because I don't keep on top of things very well, but so these are um, conversations I've been in, involved in. Learn why Google Plus is the ideal social media. Um, there was one reshare, uh, one comment, and one plus of that. That's this class that we're talking about right here. What does the plus mean? A plus is a like, and Google people who are on Google Plus are called pluses. Okay, it's a plus one. We plus everything. We don't like it. We plus it. Which, by the way, as of this week, on YouTube, the thumbs up, thumbs down for video got you know plus one videos on YouTube. So. So you can't not can't. What's the difference? You can't not like on YouTube anymore. <laughs> is That's kind of a bummer. And you know, I kind of like it. Because um, the people who were thumbs downing and making negative comments were hiding. They, they weren't seeing who they were. Now, you have to be, you can't make a post if you don't have a Google Plus account. So you can't make a comment. And then your picture's there, who you are, and I think it's going to stop some of the snide remarks that are so common. So here's people who have, so it, it, it will come in and each one of these will tell you, like, this is a community, okay, in green circle. So, Catterday. Hashtag Catterday is a big thing, and I have cats, so every Saturday I post a picture of my cats, because, and I hashtag Catterday. We all, you know, you don't have to, if you're not into cats, you don't have to do that, but I like Catterday. It's fun. Um, here's your circle. So, these people added me to. Um, their circles. The nice thing on your phone, I always ignore these on my phone, and I go to them from my computer. and And the reason is that when I add them from here, oh, these are people who added me that I haven't added back. Let me go back to that. What I want is people who have added me back. Okay, Ronnie, Bin hey, 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 Ronnie Bincer <laughs> followed me. <laughs> that was so great. Thanks, Ronnie. Um, anyway, <laughs> you have no idea who he is, but you're going to follow him, and then you're going to understand why I'm celebrating. He's a micro Google Plus celebrity. So when you are on your computer and somebody has added you back, you click on them, and you get this button. You don't get it on your phone. Say hello, and you can say hello to Ronnie Bitzer, okay? I'll do that later. Um, so that's uh, how you interact with ongoing conversations. That's where all that information is, okay? So that's your step three. So step one, you're going to find five new people every day to follow. You're going to find them a lot of different ways. Super question, how can you create the, um, the, the photos and see the geese photos? Not awesome. Awesome. Oh, that, auto, awesome. You just set up your phone to do a, um, a burst shot. 
And if you have an iPhone, you have to download a special app. If you have an Android phone that is within the last year, it's automatically in your camera. If your phone is older than that and that setting isn't in your camera, then you have to um, download an app for first shots. It has to be an app that takes at least five first shots. When you take the five first shots, and I mean, you hit the button and it goes <laughs> that fast. When you take those five first shots, and you set up your Google Plus account on your phone to automatically back up your photos. Now, I would recommend you do this, A. B, make certain that you change it from its native setting. Its native setting is to back up those photos always and to back them up as big as possible. Change that. Back them up only when you're on Wi-Fi, or I use the data, and take the option for Doing them at the, the uh, it's 2,800 pixels on the longest side. It's still a huge picture, guys. If you set it to make your pictures smaller by that amount, then you have free unlimited storage of photos. Now all your photos are backed up. You drive over your phone with your car. Your photos are all on Google Plus. Yahoo! Nobody can see them at this point. Okay, but. What happens is, if Google sees a burst shot, it goes, <laughs> on an awesome party, and it turns it into one of those animated GIFs. It will also do some other things depending on the photo. So if um, your kid's diving off the diving board, or your kid's skiing and he's jumping off of something, or I guess if you're diving off the diving board and somebody's taking your picture, whatever. <laughs> It will also make, on top of the active ones, it will make a single picture with all five or six steps of the action laid one on top of the other. You've seen those cool pictures? Yeah, you don't have to go into Photoshop to do that. It does, does it all for you. It will also take your videos and make them into little micro videos. So if you shot four or five little videos of your house all within a certain period of time, it will turn it into a video, put it up on YouTube for you, if you want, you have to select that. And put some background music in that, by the way, you don't need a license for. So, cool little things. Auto Awesome is, yeah, music in the background. They're really fun. They're really fun. It does it all automatically. You don't have to do anything. Do you know the name of the app for the iPhone? What's it called for this first shot? I, I don't. I just know if you run a search on the iPhone for first shot, it will come up. What phone do you have, and uh, which one would you have, ideally? Yeah. Which one would I have? Or does it not matter? I would have the latest phone Motorola makes. And the reason, I have absolutely no data to back this up anywhere. I've tried to find it. It doesn't exist. My theory, Google loves the people that use their stuff, and they give them benefits. They always have and they always will. I can't imagine the fact that bought Motorola will change any of that. My personal belief is that they know that the phone connected to Android, they know what that phone is. We know that for a fact. But I believe that I'm going to get some search benefit. I may be completely delusional, I have no proof to back this up, but you know what? A phone's a phone and a phone at this point in time. I mean, seriously. So, get whatever phone you like. For me, it's going to be the newest Motorola at the time I need a phone. And that's my stupid reason why, and it's probably really stupid, but it's my story and I'm sticking to it. Um, okay, let's, uh, there's my clicker. <clears throat> yeah, we're comparing the work that you're doing to Priming a pump. Do you ever pump one of those water pumps? It takes a long time to get the water up and out of it, right? Once it's out and it's flowing, it's pretty easy to keep it flowing. Stop for one second. I guess it wasn't that bad after all. He came back. <laughs> that says 20 after 3. Oh! Yeah, they're closing at 3.30 and so I 
Oh, for sure. Uh, I got to my car. It was the wrong time, so. So, cool. yeah, I have no time. Fine. <laughs> fine. The part we missed, it's up on YouTube, so you can watch it tonight. Um, so, uh, you just, you got to keep pumping at that thing. You stop, and all the work you've done is going to go away. So just make certain you spend some time. The lady that, uh, Lori Kane, that was going to try and join us, she says she spent nearly three hours a day, most of it nights and weekends, for the first two or three months. She's now spending about an hour a day. Got 4,000 followers, and it's bringing her business every single month. Okay? It's worth it, but it's a marathon. It is not a sprint. Okay? This is not a get rich quick scheme for you. It's building a foundation for the future. Yeah? What about all of these? All the homes are getting constantly, and I've tried a couple of them. Um, the world gave you top of Google, blah, blah, all these various ways, blah, 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 blah. Okay. And some of them actually, I was able to get some things on top. And then drop. But yeah, it's like, and then you pay a million dollars, and you sometimes it's there, sometimes it isn't there. Anyway, it's just complete blur, and I don't know what is good, what is good, what works, what doesn't work. So, if I'm understanding correctly, you're saying, uh, and it's called something what you're saying, because you, you're doing it, you're saying it's organic, mm -hmm. correct? Organic search. Organic search. So you're promoting our, our not organic search. Are there other ways to do it? There's pay on our pay-per-click. Pay-per-click. Those are the There's only no legitimate ways. Legitimate. If somebody makes you a promise, I'm going to get you to the front page of Google. <coughs> Run! As fast as you can. If somebody makes you a promise, I'm going to get you a thousand followers. I'm going to get you a thousand people who will circle you. All you're going to do is piss off Google. Because it's a scheme, it's black hat, and they will eventually figure it out. And then your website's going to be penalized. And if you think it costs you a million dollars right now, try to dig out of the pound. Okay? So be very careful of any major promises. Okay, there are a lot of companies, our company included, there are a lot of companies out there that do good quality work. But they will all make the same promise <coughs> again. This is a marathon, not a spring. It's going to take time. Now, the one guarantee they won't be able to give you, which I can't, I will guarantee you you are going to have fun doing business with us. <laughs> let's, uh, okay, let's see, we've got, okay. These are some of the people that I'm, and I'm going to give you a long list of people to follow, but um, here's the list of people that I've created. Oh, this is, so this is my, uh, it's the wrong link. Sorry about that, guys. Um, I will fix that, but I am going to, on this page right here, which is the page for the event itself, okay, um, you can go to that event, and I will be putting on there a list of about 20 people, some of them realtors, some of them Google Plus experts, that you should immediately follow, and you should immediately at least make a comment on something that they have written. Okay, we're going to look at a couple of different um, people. Bill Gasson, this guy's amazing. I met him. He's got twenty-three thousand people following him. He's a realtor. He doesn't do online marketing for a living. He's a realtor, and he is busy. He has an amazing. He is so helpful. I, I wrote him, I wrote a comment on one of his posts when I first found him saying that I was doing this presentation about three weeks. 
He wrote in the back, is there anything I can do to help you? <laughs> uh, well, can I talk to you on the phone tomorrow? Yeah. Actually, I asked him if we could do a hangout, and uh, he said, well, my computer at the office doesn't have a camera, so can we do the phone? Or can we do a need and run it back at home? I said, ah, I'll call me. We talked for about 30 minutes. He answered a bunch of questions about, I mean, I know this stuff, but he helped me see it from through your eyes as real person. So this class became a much better class because Bill was willing to talk to me. Got to follow that guy. Here's another person you have to follow. Now, I want to point some things out with her. I really like what she does. It's really interesting stuff. She does virtual staging. So she takes a vacant house. How many of you are dealing with vacant houses right now? Virtual staging? And all of this is just done digitally. <laughs> really cool awesome. service. I love it. Awesome. Okay, and yes, I am recommending it. And no, I get absolutely nothing from it. But I hope she doesn't uncircle me and hate me for what I'm going to do next. I'm going to teach you what not to do, even if you have a good product. Okay? Sorry. Love you, but yeah, I don't like this. See, she goes in and she posts the same post on furniture and interior design, home decor, interior design community, home interior design. Google actually considers that spam. You shouldn't post to more than one group within a 24-hour period of time the same post. Okay? Google will figure it out and could potentially penalize Christina, I guess. Could potentially penalize her for that. And the penalty would be causing those posts to okay. So meaning if you're gonna post on all those sites, write a separate individually, then it could be similar post for each. Go even further than that. Okay. Post about this with this picture and this thing to that page today. And post about this to the other page. Leave this picture on your hard drive, and tomorrow post that picture to this page. Kind of float some stuff out there. The other thing you need to make sure to do, which she doesn't do a lot of, is reshare other people's stuff. This is not about you. Okay? If it's only about you, you're not going to get circled, you're not going to get followed, you're not going to get any trans, any traction. And you're not going to get done on a Google search the way Destin did. If it's all about you, Google will figure it out because they've got semantic web figured out and they're going to dump it Okay? So just be careful on those kinds of things. Be a little bit more, share, share more things, and don't just share about your business either. That's another thing that she does that I think could be better, is she could share other things. If you actually go to my profile, in fact, I'm probably not the greatest example. And when you look at my profile, I need to forewarn you, you can now see things that the rest of the world can't, okay? So things that I've shared internally for different reasons. So it might look like I've reshared a bunch of things, but most of this is not. So here's our Hangout on Air right now. This is the live video feed. If you clicked on that play button, you'd be able to watch it, okay? Here's um, I had a mistake, I started it and had to stop it, so that's the other one. Uh, here's an invitation to uh, an event that I'm doing for nonprofits. Here's a picture I really liked. Here's an auto awesome of me going through the three hats that I was talking about. Um, you know, quotes, I love quotes, I have a thing for quotes. Those are some other versions of that auto awesome. Many of these are like, so you shared privately, shared privately, so it doesn't matter. If you're sharing privately, it doesn't matter to share a billion different times. It's when you're sharing publicly that it's a problem. Um, you know, this is Tuesday's Hangout on Air right here. Um, my dog licking peanut butter off his nose. Veterans Day flag. Anyway. So, so now if you're you know, sharing privately, who are you sharing it with? Like your own I'm trying to force auto awesomes to happen because my Wi-Fi at home is not working. 
and I don't want to change the setting on my phone. So the way that I hand around that is I take those photos and I share them from one of my G Plus accounts to the other one, both of them mine, and that way they do get pulled, posted up, and then Google can create the auto awesome because I can't wait till I get to the office the next day. It's really all that sometimes. <laughs> my obsession with auto awesome. Did you tell us earlier to only you know follow sure. or uh, whatever the term is, to only follow people that are in our industry? No. No. You want to follow people that are of interest. You want to be very active with people in your industry. But let me show you my circles, okay? I'm, I'm probably going to... So you can have different circles. With different you, can create, you create your circles, okay? Let's go... Um, okay, this is my sister-in-law right here, okay? Let's say I want to add her to more circles, okay? Well, she's family. I should have added her there, which I hadn't. Friends, I could put her there, probably. Well, I mean, okay, I don't want her to get mad at me. She says <laughs> um, artists, because I play around, I do some art. Uh, Soul Ice is a company that I used to own that I closed down. Builders, um, authorized installers, that has to do with my old company. Architects, obviously, what you know what those are. Um, Park City Board of Realtors, so these are people that came to one of these presentations. SEO.com, these are my co-workers. These are some clients. Uh, the webinar from Racing with Passion, that's a webinar I did. Um, SEO experts, these are the people that really know their stuff, not just anybody. Later on I'll have all SEO, this is everybody I've come across that's in that industry. Um, you may want to, like Utah businesses right here, Okay, you may want to know about Utah business owners and, and follow those. If that's been a successful group for you, then you want to interact. This is networking, okay? This is networking on a level that BMI could never conceive of, okay? Um, I've got all mortgage brokers. I've got multi-level marketing superstars and multi-level marketing regular people. I've got interesting people. That's a hard one to get on the list of mm -hmm. and an easy one to get kicked off of. Um, nobody can see what groups they're in, okay, only you. So create as many as you want. Make them as, I mean, BC folks. I used to live in BC. These are not people I know in BC. Those would be friends. These are people that are from my home city that I therefore may have some interest in. This, I have one person in that group. British I, city? No, British <laughs> Columbia, Canada. I'm Canadian, eh? I'm Canadian, so I hope you don't mind because I see you here about the internet. Anyway, um, I really am Canadian. I've been here for a long time and lost my accent. So, um, where did that list go? Um, so, you've got, uh, I mean, I've got a lady that blogs on parenting. These are people that are into the auto awesome thing like me. These are great Dane owners right here. Realtors to follow. This is the list that I'm going to be sharing with you guys. Okay, there's 24 people in that list. Um, so, you know, car lovers. I mean, I go really, really detailed, and I do it for a reason. I may sit down at my phone or my computer and go, I need a car to do right now. And I could go to the community on cars. Which would be fun. Or I could go follow some people that I know I really like their stuff and see what they've been posting. There's only three people in that community. I don't know where these guys get these pictures of $2 million cars, one after the other after the other. It's, it's my window shopping, okay? Mm -hmm. Which is the way I use Pinterest, too, by the way. <laughs> oh, yeah, and window shopping for shoes, too. Oh, I your shoes. Yeah, I'm into nice. shoes. So, all right. Uh, you're also going to have a link. I'm going to give you a link to this G Plus Etiquette group. I think you want to join that one. Extremely helpful group. Well, how are you getting those cute little short links? Ha! <laughs> These are so cool. You got to download this. <laughs> this is the coolest thing. Okay. This is right here. It's Google G O O dot G L. And if you're in Chrome, you'll get that. You, you can get this as an, uh, an extension you can add to Google URLs. 
Sure. Let me show you what it does. <laughs> I'm so geeky. All right. Oh boy, we're over time. So if I go into it, you attach it to your Google account, and when you go in there, so you can click on that, and any website you're looking at is going to give you an, one of those. Um, hmm. You slightly typed it wrong. Type Goog. That's what it is. Then you type G O G. Oh, did I? Oh, okay. So <laughs> it'll give you these uh, shortened URLs, but not only that. Are you seeing what this is telling me? How many people use them? <laughs> you don't know who they are, but you put that thing in an email. You don't know how many people use that thing. Really cool information. You can use yeah, that. Click to how many people every click every, every person who has ever out. clicked on this particular one, three of them. Now, are those all ones that you created? I created them. They, they, you have to attach your goo.gl account to your Gmail account, and then it stores all this for you. You log in with your Google account after that. Totally free. Totally cool. Totally Google. Okay. So let's see here. Okay, the notes um, on this presentation, write down that URL. You're going to be able to get all the notes, everything, if you go to that URL shortener. And I'm going to know when you go there, I'm not going to know when you there is. That's going to actually take you to my, um, the, this event on Google+. Okay. Is it case sensitive? It is case sensitive, yes. Has everyone got it? Mm -hmm. Can we move on? Okay. So. No, no, can you go back? Thank you. Now, are they notes like your present slide presentation, or is it just? I'm probably going to post my slide presentation itself in there. I've never tried that, so that'll be a first. Um, but you're going to have, like, I promised you the, the contact information of the 24 people. You're going to actually have a description about each one. I do that on purpose because I don't like to. Um, they're going to know that they got tagged, right? And some of these people are really famous on Google Plus. So plus tagging them can be a form of spam. And I don't want them to think that I'm trying to ride on their coattails. So I'm going to say something nice about them. Okay. Um, one of the guys that's on that list is a friend of mine named Ross Walker. I think he's watching. If you are Ross, I really do want to know how this presentation went. But <clears throat> I tagged him in another list last Friday, and I commented on one of my favorite things about Ross Walker. I absolutely love following him on Google+. Plus. This guy has an obsession with ice cream that is entertaining as heck. I'm all I'm going to follow so much. He is just fun to follow because he's always talking about ice cream. And that's what I'm going to need Ross Walker to do for ice cream after this. Okay, you talk guy? Yeah, he's a good talk guy. He lives up in Monica and he does the same thing I do. So, hopefully we have changed your idea today about whether the glass is half full or completely full. Okay? Hopefully, we've given you a little bit of an idea. We'll gladly get together and do that conference call sometime next week um, with anyone and everyone from this group that wants to join in. Um, in fact, if you go to, if you really want to join in on that conference call when we do it, and we may have to break that thing up. I don't want to do it for more than about an hour, so maybe a couple of classes. Um, <clears throat> go to that uh, link that I had you all write down. And tell me that you want to join that. Just post a comment in there. I want to join that call as we talked about. And that way I'll know who that. And what call is this? The call to help her set up uh, Google Plus. Set up Google Plus and start to, to I'm not gain the followers. Like I said about well, my one question and maybe we can address it separately for then, but I had a regular personal email account for years and years and years, put it on Google Plus. At my work, I have a separate email as an assistant to a realtor, and that has a Google Plus. And now I'm licensed, and I want my own 
different email and so I have three Google Plus. Is the answer. Is exactly the answer you need. Worry about you. Okay. Okay. So I work for SEO.com. I do education and outreach as a way of marketing. That's my job. Okay. But on Google Plus, I interact through my dentist who's at gmail.com. I have a dentist at SEO.com account. Okay. Don't interact with it. In fact, I'm thinking about putting up a this is not the real dentist that crossed through it. And mm -hmm. Here's a link to my real use this account. Please don't follow me here. Just trying to be funny about it. Anyway. These are the things we talked about. We talked about semantic search. We talked about why Google Plus improves ranking. We talked about Google authorship and increasing traffic very likely. We talked about Google, YouTube, Hangouts on here, how you can use those. Um, hopefully, just started your mind thinking because there's lots more ways to do that. And we talked a little bit about building following. We're going to do that class together. Please invite anyone you want, the more the merrier. We'd love to have lots of people in that class. And feel free to join me Fridays. If you want to, to be invited to the Friday morning 7 a.m. presentation. And that one's that one called? That one's called the MLM Roundtable Online Marketing for Your Network Marketing. It's it's marketing and it's all about mostly it's about how to use Google right now. That's what we're going through. It's kind of a fun class because it's me and my siblings that do it. My brother lives in London, my sister lives in the Caribbean, and uh, my other sister lives in Boy Oregon. And when was that nonprofit? The nonprofit is Tuesdays at 8 a.m. At this point in time, I don't have a nonprofit set up, so if any of you volunteer. I'm looking for somebody to interview this Tuesday. Really? Get with me after class. I want. I mean, I want, I want to start one. Okay, let's is talk. That, is that that? If you got some ideas that you want to talk about, yeah, okay, let's talk. Okay, I'm always looking for people. I have a friend that's solid. I'd probably love to talk to you this in adventure. Awesome. Because a lot of stuff. I can do this long distance. So yeah, get me contact info on that one too. Okay, so. Google knows what you mean. You guys can go out, interact with people. This is the neat thing. You can interact with people about real estate. You don't have to spam and annoy those who aren't as passionate as you are. Google knows what you're talking about. And when other people are looking for that, they're in, Google's going to direct them to you. And we're going to see a massive shift over the next few years. Corporations are going to be taken down off the first page, and people are going to be rising to the top. Now, the corporations will gain this by putting people out there who are doing nothing more than Google Plus accounts. So you still have, you know, an uphill battle. The playing field every day since Facebook went live open to the public and not just to college students, the playing field has been leveling. And individuals and small businesses have a much greater chance of success because of these tools. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you everybody who is watching. And I'm going to end the broadcast. You mentioned you do other like social media.